Over 2,000 years ago, Iron Age Britain was on the fringes of the known world. Often depicted as wild and untamed, our ancestors were considered primitive and warlike, practicing strange customs. However, recent archaeological finds are challenging this narrative. What secrets lie in Britain's best preserved chariot burial? Join us on this fascinating journey as we uncover the truth. Today, we explore a groundbreaking discovery. The Museum of London serves as our starting point, a fitting location given its rich history. The Romans established Londinium, and from here they embarked on their mission to civilize the so-called British savages. Our journey takes us to Pocklington, a small town on the edge of the Yorkshire Wolds. In 2014, archaeologists at Burnby Lane, a new housing development site, made an extraordinary find. They discovered a series of Iron Age burial mounds, known as Square Barrows. Initially expecting a couple of barrows, they uncovered an Iron Age cemetery with over 60 barrows and 101 skeletons. In the spring of 2018, the team made an even more sensational discovery, an almost intact chariot burial. Typically, chariot burials involve dismantled parts laid flat within the grave. However, this chariot was found upright, ready to go. This marks only the third fully assembled chariot burial discovered in Britain. Remarkably, the chariot included a passenger compartment which contained the human remains of its driver. Additionally, the burial site featured two ponies, making this find unique. The ponies were discovered upright, a first in UK archaeological history. This unparalleled discovery provides a rare glimpse into Iron Age life and customs. The burial, with its upright ponies, chariot, and human skeletons, offers a new perspective on Iron Age Britain. It challenges the Roman depiction of the Britons as uncivilized barbarians, revealing a sophisticated society with complex customs. The discovery at Pocklington is not an isolated find, but part of a broader picture of Iron Age Britain. The ancient landscape was divided among tribes, each with its own distinct culture. However, the expanding Roman Empire viewed these diverse tribal societies as both a challenge and a threat. Now we travel to Loch Tay in Perthshire, Scotland, to explore another remarkable site that reshapes our understanding of Iron Age life. Loch Tay was home to 18 prehistoric structures known as Cranogs, artificial islands built from timber and stone. These impressive feats of engineering provided significant insights into the sophisticated construction techniques of Iron Age communities. Archaeologists from the Living on Water Project are investigating whether these cranogs were built simultaneously, indicating a well-organized community. Excavations have uncovered well-preserved timber remains, protected by the oxygen-deprived mud of the lock bed. These timbers, some with mortise holes and dowels, reveal advanced carpentry skills and a deep understanding of woodland resources. Despite the challenges in dating these timbers, tree ring dating being unreliable and carbon dating imprecise for this period, the team uses a method called wiggle matching. This technique maps radioactive carbon levels in tree rings to provide a more accurate dating. Preliminary results suggest that the Cranogs were constructed around the same time, approximately in the middle of the first millennium BC. This points to a coordinated effort by a sophisticated, resourceful community. Artifacts such as spindle whorls, knives, whistles, and even a butter dish with remnants of high-fat dairy products offer glimpses into the daily lives of these Iron Age inhabitants. These findings challenge the Roman portrayal of Britons as uncivilized and demonstrate a high level of craftsmanship and societal organization. As we continue our exploration, we'll see how these remarkable discoveries at Loch Tay and Pocklington together challenge the Roman narrative and reveal the true complexity and sophistication of Iron Age Britain. Archaeologists were astounded by the discovery of Britain's best-preserved chariot burial, particularly focusing on the remarkably sophisticated engineering of the chariot wheels. As they meticulously unearthed the site, their attention fixated on identifying any surviving spokes, crucial for reconstructing the wheel's original structure. Despite the chariot's wooden components having long decayed, the iron tires remained remarkably intact, providing valuable insights into Iron Age craftsmanship. Each iron tire, over two millennia old, presented a delicate challenge for the conservation team. Their careful maneuvers were crucial to prevent any accidental damage that could shatter the ancient artifacts. 
Special attention was given to a small ring attached to a functional iron piece, designed to secure the wheel's hub to the axle, ensuring the chariot's stability during travel. The discovery also showcased the intricate use of different metals, notably bronze and iron, in the chariot's construction. The bronze bands not only protected the hub, but also boasted decorative ribbing, reflecting the status and prestige associated with such vehicles in ancient times. These chariots, often buried with great ceremony, akin to modern-day luxury cars, served as symbols of power and social standing. Further insights came from expert reconstructions and archaeological evidence, revealing how these chariots were integral to ancient British society's mobility and connectivity. Detailed models and discussions with experts highlighted the craftsmanship involved in attaching yokes and assembling the intricate parts using rawhide and linchpins, demonstrating advanced metallurgical knowledge. Moreover, the discovery of nearby ancient trackways, contemporaneous with the chariot burial, shed light on the engineered landscape of Iron Age Britain. These trackways, possibly used by chariots for transport and trade, challenged the notion that complex road systems were introduced solely by the Romans. They underscored a well-organized and interconnected society, where these vehicles played a pivotal role in daily life and ceremonial practices. In essence, the excavation not only unveiled a remarkably preserved archaeological find, but also provided a deeper understanding of Iron Age technological prowess and societal organization in Britain. It emphasized the importance of such discoveries in reshaping historical narratives and appreciating the sophistication of ancient civilizations long before the commonly known Roman influence. Archaeologists are analyzing Iron Age human remains from Somerset, using the latest scientific techniques to unlock the secrets of this enigmatic period. Using chemical signals from food and drink locked in bones and teeth, they determine geographical origins. Teeth, which retain early life chemical signals, reveal whether individuals were local or from elsewhere. Initial results show most people were local, but some outliers suggest origins outside Britain, potentially from the Mediterranean or Northern Iberia. This research suggests a more diverse and mobile Iron Age society than previously thought. Archaeologists were left awestruck by the recent discovery of Britain's most well-preserved chariot burial, particularly intrigued by the identity of the chariot rider. Through careful excavation, they determined that the individual buried was likely a tall male, approximately 5 feet 8 inches in height. The next step involved delicately extracting the skeletal remains, including the pelvis and skull, to further study and identify the individual. As the skeleton was carefully lifted from its resting place, the team noticed a faint outline of a metal object beneath, sparking excitement among the researchers. Upon closer inspection, they uncovered a remarkably preserved bronze shield, adorned with intricate detailing and a distinctive rim around the edge. This find mirrored another shield discovered previously, providing valuable insights into the construction techniques and materials used in ancient British armaments. The shield's discovery raised intriguing questions about the burial's occupant. While no sword or other weaponry was found, the presence of such a shield suggested the deceased might have been a respected warrior in his community. Experts speculated that chariots, like the one buried here, served not just as instruments of war, but also as symbols of authority and mediation in disputes, reflecting a complex societal role beyond mere combat. Further analysis of the skeleton revealed signs of advanced age and physical wear, including extensive dental loss and bone growth indicative of repetitive strain. These observations painted a picture of a seasoned individual, perhaps past his prime as a warrior, but still revered for his role in defending and negotiating within his community. Interestingly, despite the martial appearance of the burial with its chariot and shield, archaeological evidence suggested relatively low rates of violent injuries among similar communities. This paradox led researchers to theorize that the presence of such symbolic weaponry might have served more as a deterrent than as implements of actual combat, contributing to a community ethos of posturing and diplomacy rather than frequent conflict. In sum, the discovery of this chariot burial not only illuminated the life and possible role of its occupants, but also challenged prevailing assumptions about ancient British warfare and social dynamics. 
It underscored the nuanced ways in which ceremonial artifacts like chariots and shields were used to convey power, prestige, and community leadership in Iron Age Britain, offering a glimpse into a society where symbolism and practicality intertwined in unexpected ways. One common pitfall in archaeology is the assumption that artifacts have simple, singular purposes. For instance, to explore this, a look at the Battersea Shield, one of Britain's most exquisite Iron Age artifacts, reveals intricate designs and high-status symbolism. Found in the River Thames, the shield likely served a ceremonial purpose, possibly as a votive offering. Such offerings displayed wealth and power, with their deposition in rivers and bogs signifying more than just martial use. Hill forts, often perceived as bastions of military might by the Romans, are revealing a more nuanced story through recent archaeological excavations. Pencoid I Hill Fort, situated atop Welsh heathland, challenges traditional interpretations with its sophisticated construction techniques. Initially thought to be defensive, the discovery of an earlier, smaller enclosure predating the imposing ramparts suggests a different purpose, likely agricultural and communal. The presence of burnt hazel fence remnants indicates seasonal habitation rather than permanent settlement, where communities gathered possibly for trade or cultural exchange. Rachel Pope's findings suggest that Iron Age Britons, far from mere warriors, engaged in complex societal structures that integrated agriculture, trade, and communal activities. This nuanced view counters the Roman stereotype of violent barbarians, highlighting a civilization that was organized, innovative in construction techniques like clay bonding, and sophisticated in their approach to communal living atop prominent landscape features like Pencoid I. In the culmination of the excavation at Pocklington, the discovery of an elaborate chariot burial has illuminated the sophistication of Iron Age Britain. Through detailed analysis and 3D reconstruction, archaeologists have portrayed a figure of authority and renown, likely a local leader celebrated in death with grand ceremony. The presence of finely crafted grave goods, including a technologically advanced chariot and a stunning bronze shield, underscores the community's skilled craftsmanship and the importance they placed on ceremonial rituals. These findings challenge the Roman portrayal of ancient Britons as primitive, revealing instead a culture marked by engineering prowess, intricate metalwork, and interconnected societal structures. This burial not only enriches our understanding of Iron Age Britain, but also highlights the cultural achievements and social dynamics that characterize this vibrant period in history. Thanks for joining us in this journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating archaeological insights and historical revelations. See you next time.